In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the divisibility rules for 11. And actually, I say rules because there actually are multiple divisibility rules for 11. I'm going to show you two of them here. But there actually are more than that. Okay, so uh, uh, number one way you can tell <clears throat> is if the sum of the uh, the odd place digits, like the first, third, fifth, etc., minus the sum of the even place digits, like the second, fourth, etc. If, if that's divisible by 11, and actually you can subtract this in any order, it doesn't matter, then the number is divisible by 11. So that's one way, and I'm, I'll show you this in some examples. And the next way is to remove the last or the ones place digit and subtract it from the remaining digits, and if that value is divisible by 11, then the number is divisible by 11. Now one of the a little bit of problems with this second method is if the number is fairly big, there can be multiple steps to this. And again, I'll show you that as we go through. So um, we'll, I'll do the, the top one first and the second one uh, last. So let's. So we were asked, are, are the following numbers divisible by 11? So 693. So so we um, so the sum of the odd place digits, the first and the third, would be the six and the three. So we add those. And we subtract nine. There's only one even place digit. There's a, a one in the second place. There's no no fourth because the number isn't big enough. So it's six plus three subtract nine, and that works out to be zero. Now zero is a multiple eleven because you could count zero, eleven, twenty-two, thirty-three, etc. So six hundred ninety-three is divisible by eleven. Now the the second method here, what we're going to do is you you take the last digit off, which is three in this case. And you subtract it from the other numbers. So it'll be 69 nine, subtract 3, which is 66. And since 66 is divisible by 11, that means that 693 is divisible by 11. So that's how the second method works. Uh, question B here, uh, 2816. So we're going to add the 2 and the 1 and the 8 and the 6. So 2 plus 1 is 3, and 8 plus 6 is 14. And if we subtract 3, 3 minus 14, we get negative 11. That's why I said you could subtract in either order. If we did the uh, even place minus the odd, it would actually work out to positive 11. So that is a, um, a multiple of 11. So 2816 is divisible by 11. So the second method, we're going to take the 6 off and subtract from 281 to get 275. And so that might be a bit high in your multiplication table to tell you, oh, I know that that's divisible by 11, or I don't. So now we would take the 27 and subtract the 5 to get 22. So that's divisible by 11. So that means that 275 and also the 2816 would be divisible by 11. Now, here's another, um, and this especially works well with three-digit numbers. So 275 is divisible by 11. If you see a three-digit number that the tens digit, the one in the middle, is the sum of the uh, ones digit and the hundredth digit, it's divisible by 11. 5 and 2 add to 7. Same with the 693 up here. See 6 and 3 add to 9. Okay, so that's going to be divisible by 11. So you, you might see that um, some, you know, there's a lot of numbers that don't have that property that you know are bigger that you can't use that for, but that works well for uh, three-digit numbers. So three more examples on the second page here. 2174, <clears throat> so we would add the 2 and the 7 and subtract from it the sum of the 1 and the 4. So 2 plus 7 is 9, 1 and 4 is 5, 9 minus 5 is 4, okay? So 4 is not divisible by 11, so 2174 isn't divisible by 11. So the second method, we would take the 4 off and subtract it from the 217, which is 213. And then we would, uh, now 213 is probably too high for most people to look at and say, I know that's not a multiple 11, or, or is. So we take the 3 off and subtract it from the 21 to get 18. Well, 18 is small enough now. 18 isn't divisible by 11, so 2174 isn't divisible by 11. Okay, so here's a larger number, 6,493,806. So... The, uh, we would add the 6, the 9, and the 8, and the 6. So 1st, 3rd, 5th, and 7th place. So we add those digits. And we subtract from the ones in the 2nd the place, the 4th place. Now the 5th place, uh, sorry, 4th, that would be the 6th place, is a 0. So it's just uh, 4 plus 3 here in, in the 2nd part. So <coughs> 6 and 9 is 15, and 8 and 6 is 14. So 15 and 14 add to 29. And 4 plus 3 is 7. 
seven from 29 is 22. 22 is divisible by 11, so that million, that 6,493,806 is divisible by 11. So, uh, so the second method with the bigger numbers is quite a bit longer because we're going to take one digit off at a time. We're going to take the six off and subtract from the remaining number, which would be 649,380. Take away six would be 649,374. 649, so now that's probably too big for you to look at and say, I know that's divisible by 11. So we take the four off and subtract from 649,37. And so uh, see 37 minus four is 33. So it's 64,933. So now we're going to take this three off and subtract from 6493 or 6493 minus three is 6490. Now when there's a zero in the end, you can actually just drop the zero because what you would do next is you go 649 minus zero, which is 649. So if there's a zero in the end, you can just drop it, you know, and then go directly to 64, take away nine. Is 55, okay? So um, that uh, 55, of course, is divisible by 11. So this number, 6,493,806, is divisible by 11. Uh, last example, so 628,349. Now, you might look at it uh, and, and uh, actually, I was thinking something else. So we're going to take the 6, 8, and the 4 and add them, and the 2, 3, and the 9 and add them. So 6 and 8 is 14, plus 4 more is 18. And 2 and 3 is 5, plus 9 is 14. 18 minus 14 is just 4. And 4 is not divisible by 11. So 628,349 is not divisible by 11. Okay, so the second method, we would take this 9 and subtract from 62834, or 62,834. So minus 9 would be 62,825. So now we'll take the 5 off and subtract from 6282. So 82 minus 5 is 77, so it ends in 77. So now we'll take this 7 off and subtract it from 627, which is 620. And remember, you could just drop the 0 but and you'd be left with 62, but 62 minus the 0 is still 62. 62 is not divisible by 11, so 628,349 is not divisible by 11. So, so there's a couple of, um, of strategies for figuring out if a number is divisible by 11. Uh, there are more, but that's a couple that work pretty good. And that's the end of the tutorial.